Hi guys. Happy Monday. Here we are. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> I'm later than usual. Why well, don't I even talk about when I get here anymore? Isn't it getting old? You're like, okay, we have to do this now again, like every single time. We got it. You're late. We get it. <sighs> All right. I hear you. Um, so, well, cheers. I was actually, um, I don't know. I was doing a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. Mm. I have a little bit of a new twist on an old drink today. I never get flavored vodka, but I thought, you know, I'm getting super bored of what I'm drinking. So I got absolute vanilla. I mean, why am I showing it to you? It literally looks like I'm drinking water, but it's absolute vanilla and Hal's vanilla cream seltzer. It's really good. It's really good. Maybe dangerously good. Let's be honest. How are you guys doing? What's shaking? Let me scroll. Oh my goodness. Scars to Stars Beauty is here. Hi, Danny. Um, so many of the GJG are here. Olivia Rizzo, Jennifer C, Kim McConnell, Sassy Red, Bonnie Nominson, Chantel Connard, Jerry Morrison, Lauren Boyless. Oh, Lauren, I wanted to tell you. Okay, so Lauren <laughs> is a superstar. And she's obsessed with, the, I've talked about them before, the peach skin sheets. She has sent me two, us, two sets of them now. They're already on the bed. She sent us an eggplant set. They are the most comfortable sheets I have ever slept in. Thank you, Lauren. You're the best. You the best, girl. Um... Let me, let me see. I'm trying to catch up on what's happening in people's lives. Oh, Ryan K. Hi, I'm teaching from home. I don't feel great. I couldn't get in for a test until until Thursday. Shortness of breath is part of what scares me that I have it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, on that note, Randy actually went and got a COVID test today because he was feeling a little bit under. Both of us just feeling, I feel fine. But I think it's it's due in part to the fact that we pounded. When I say like just probably overdosed on wellness formula and oregano oil and oh, his COVID test is negative. Sorry, probably should have led with that. <laughs> um, negative. So I think we're just feeling, I don't know, tired. I don't know what it is. But anyway, we're just trying to do all the things um, to not get a cold. But uh, his experience going to get a COVID test was an all day experience. Um, he went to, well, first he called to see where he get a free rapid test. And they're like, oh, no problem. You can go to, and they gave like a location nearest, nearest to us. And he went and stood in line. Oh no, Eileen Wallace, I have no video or audio. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't happening again. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? I don't even know if those are the words. That's all I know. Oh, God. Please, please don't scare me like that again. I, I just, last week was about all I could take. <laughs> um, great, 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 great. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so anyway, so he went, he stood in line and he had to fill out this paperwork and then basically found out that they don't do rapid testing there. So he came home. You have to understand, we, there, I know you understand, but like really put yourself in, our, <laughs> in his shoes. No cars, no cars here. Just by foot or subway. It's all a fucking hassle. And so he uh, had came back home and then found out where, because the woman basically on the phone gave him misinformation. She's like, oh yeah, just go here. No, that wasn't a problem. That wasn't going to work. So then the closest place, get to the point, Kate, the closest place we could go, 
he could go. We, not we, he, <laughs> drunk already, <laughs> was in the Bronx. In the Bronx, in the Bronx, in Queens, in Brooklyn. Just so you know, none of those places are particularly close. The Bronx isn't, it wasn't too far compared to Brooklyn. So he had to go to the Bronx and wait in line. How long did you wait? Uh, it was about two hours in line and then about a half hour waiting for results until I finally did the whole app thing and just left. Okay, so, so two. all in all, I'd say it was roughly a three hour experience. Three. It was pretty much entirely outside. Right. Yeah, and it's, it's, you know, it's getting, oh my goodness, Lisa J is here. Lisa J of BK Beauty, celebrity in the house. Yes, queen. Um, so that was terrible, but he's negative, so that's good. But anyway, it was a whole, it was like the, it was the whole day. So I went out and I got, I went to Whole Foods and I, foraged for well everything wellness I could find so anyway okay well the, Lisa J is here um and I don't know if you know this but this whole live stream is going to be mostly about the new BK Beauty palette now don't get too excited because we're not gonna <laughs> Lisa go away and come back because we're we're not gonna get to this until I get to my eyes because I don't do my eyes first I refuse I refuse because I look like a monster. So anyway, um, but I'm, I'm so excited to, I, I did open it briefly, but no touchy, didn't touch anything. So, okay. So, oh, oh Lisa J, I'm going to hang out. Oh, that's awesome. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, so anyways, okay. So that was his experience today. And, and then what else was I going to tell you? Oh yeah. There was a tornado warning last night here in Manhattan. Um, that's like not a thing just so you know, I like we were floored, um, a warning and also all day long, it was so incredibly windy and we're having kind of a hard time because they're doing construction on the outside of our building. It's also like, why? Like no one cares how the outside work on the inside. That's where we live. I don't care what the outside. No one can see that we live. We face another building, but they're working really hard on the outside of the building. And the construction guys left like this giant thick sheath. Oh, is Michelle Wong here too? Oh my God. It really is star. It's a star studded event here tonight. They left this thick sheath of plastic, just a hanging down. I don't know what it's there for, but like from, well, we're on the sixth floor. So I think it's up on the seventh or sixth floor and just hangs down to the bottom. So, and yesterday there was a tornado warning. So all day long, it was like noise torture. It was just like a giant was like next to us in the window, just like crunching and crump, just, <laughs> just crunching this plastic in his hand and just crumbling it up. That's what it sounded like. Crumpling. Giant crumples. And so anyway, last night, the tornado, it didn't hit us. Okay. You can probably tell because we're, I'm here, but we watched Twister and I have never seen Twister. I know. I told you I missed all the nineties. I missed it all, even though I grew up in the 90s. So I, <sighs> sorry, I got distracted by a comment. So I basically um, was completely enthralled with Twister because did you know that everyone's in that movie? Like literally everyone is in it. Philip Seymour Hoffman, Helen Hunt, uh, Bill Paxton, also, two people who are gone now, sads, saddies. Every character actor you've ever seen in your entire life is in the, <laughs> everyone who came on screen is like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know his name, but oh my God. <laughs> so good. So if you need to, I don't know, have a fun-filled evening, watch Twister. I have lots more thoughts about it, but we'll just, we'll save those for when I start putting my makeup. Scars to Stars Beauty, Bill Paxton died. 
Girl, he died a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but he died a long time ago. Sad. Right? I'm starting, I'm second guessing myself. It was like uh, two, three, maybe four years ago. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. He, he, he was actually, yours. at the time, he had just started doing a television adaptation of Training Day, and that's pretty much what ended it. Oh my God. Did you hear that? Encyclopedia, <laughs> Encyclopedia Britannica just is doling out the facts. Um, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm, having, I'm ignoring some comments here. Tamara's Timeless Beauty. Twister was a fun movie. Not often you see a cow getting sucked up, sucked up into the, into a tornado. That's true. I mean, there, there's so many things about it that were really something. Um, my joyous, what made you miss the nineties? Oh, I don't miss the nineties. I hated no, the nineties. I miss them like they miss you. What? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I just hated everything in the 90s when I was in the 90s. I just like, I didn't care. I didn't care about the music. I, I didn't care about the movies. I didn't like alt, like alternative pop music. I didn't like grunge. I didn't, I just was like the most not cool. I was like wearing pleated khakis with like big giant hair and just living in my own best life in my own bubble. So I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't there for that. I'm there for it now though. I'm here for it now. Um, okay. Oh, great. Someone else wasn't into the nineties too. Erica, no Nirvana. Erica, no nothing. You're getting too specific. No nothing from the nineties. No nineties, no, no. <laughs> nothing, just literally just throw 90 stuff at me. Just go. Go, 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 90s, and I'll shoot it all down. I'll be like, nope, 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 and nope, and nope, and nope, and nope, nope, nope. Um, okay, great. I'm glad we talked about that. So now I'm going to, what am I going to do? I told you what I'm drinking. There are 204 people here and only 89 thumbs ups. Give it a thumbs up. I say you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Say I give it a thumbs up. Thumbs it up. Now. Now, now, now. Go, go, go. Oh my God, it's working. Shit, it's working. Yes. <laughs> okay. So thumbs it up if you can, or thumbs it down if you want to be difficult, but also engage. Doesn't matter. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, if you haven't hit the notification bell, hit the notifi notification bell because sometimes it works. Uh, the other options you have to support the channel. You can send a super chat. We all love a super chat which is the little dollar sign at the bottom. You can send dancing pairs. You can send messages. And if you don't wanna do that and you don't want YouTube to get their grubby, greedy hands on their 30% cut, you can donate through Venmo PayPal. It's in my description box. Okay, those are the options. Great. I did my spiel. Okay, so we're focusing on the BK Beauty palette, but I'm going to do the full face because I can. But there actually is another new product I'm excited to try. Oh, and Randy also put the Venmo PayPal in my description. Oh, no, I have something else. I have something else I want to show you. I can't. <sighs> Let me see if I can. Can you see this? It says, I am speaking. It's an I am speaking shirt. And I actually have the little card here. I, I bought it. I bought it myself. Um, and I listed, like, I don't even know how I found it. I think I was just drunk scrolling on Facebook or Instagram one night. And um, 
they have a Facebook page, so I linked that. I don't know if it's available anymore, but you can just go find out. But this is the I Am Speaking Charity t-shirt from the Covalent Collective. And the profits will be going to Rosa Rebellion, which is an organization working hard to uplift women of color through media, education, and activism. Very, very cool. So check that out again. So sorry if they're not selling it anymore. You can probably find it other places, but this is just a really cool cause. So um, I, of course, cut out the neck because that's just what I have to do. Okay, so that was what I wanted to show you. And also, I feel very, I feel bad because I don't think I mentioned this. <sighs> Someone sent this to me. And if you're here, please speak up. This was quite some time ago. This is the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Preserver, yeah. And it's amazing and I've been using it and I, I don't know who to thank. So thank you to whoever sent this. Make yourself known. Um, okay. My head wrap does match my nails. Yes. Oh, Scar Cesar said she used to use this because she was um, an art major. She said she used to use this in art school on her paintbrushes. Okay, let's get going. So first I want to talk about Glam 35. Um, I know Glam 30, this was sent to me. So Marcella, who owns Glam 35, was kind enough to send me a box of goodies. So I have been using her lip base primer for a year and I love it. She just came out with her age blur face base. So I'm going to use that tonight. Right this very moment before your very eyes. She also sent me some more of her, um, I want to say the name right. Age and Inspire Ultimate Lip Base. Moisturizing, anti-feathering, wrinkle filling, color locking with youth renewing peptides, antioxidants, ceramides, and jojoba esters. Whoa, that's a lot. Anyway, I linked her, um, just like everything else, I linked her website in the description box. The link, Tony Page, the link for the shirt is at the bottom. Hi, Megan Hurt. Oh my gosh, hold please, notification, Sherry Ford notification. Sherry Ford is here, y'all. She says, happy Monday. You're gonna love this palette. I got mine on Friday and I'm in love. Thanks Lisa J for always putting out sensational products and for all the kindness you put out into the world. She sent a $75 Venmo, thank you so much. Sherry Ford, I concur. Cheers to Sherry Ford. Cheers to Lisa J. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to pull out a foundation that I haven't used in a hot minute. This was also sent to me by Sherry Ford. Right? I think so. This is some time ago. Um, this is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation Broad Spectrum 45 Cushion Compact. Wow, there's so much, there's so much going on in the comments. <laughs> Lin Linda Nardone, is that a Lincoln Cowboy on your glass? Oh yeah. I have four um, Abe glasses. He's dressed differently in all of them. Randy refers to this as John Wayne, John Wayne Braham Lincoln. All in 1982A sent a 299 super chat with a little fox. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Um, I don't, oh, the Instagram for the cowboy glasses. I should just always have them in the description box because I get asked 
about it a lot. So it's called Paste NYC. He's an artist. You'll find it. Paste NYC. Okay. So I'm going to... Um, also, I double-checked the description box. I'm not seeing the link for the shirt. Really? Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Let me make sure the shirt is linked. Hold, hold, please. I I see it. I see it right there. It's saved. It's it's under. You don't see it underneath my head wrap. It says the I'm speaking T-shirt. No. Well, I'm gonna look now. Oh my God! What the hell? Okay. Damn it. Damn it, YouTube. I saved that shit and it's not there. All right, let me let me just redo it. I know. I do all this work. And for what? And for what? I'll just link the t-shirt because I talk amongst yourselves. I'll just be clicky clacky typing over here. I'm speaking T shirt. Oh, I hate when this doesn't save. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I have to look it up on Google. I'm speaking t-shirt. Covalent Collective. Okay, here it is. All right, hopefully this time it will save. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hopefully that worked. Let me know if it didn't. Oi. Okay. So. Okay, moving on. We're gonna, are we ever gonna get to the foundation? Are we ever gonna get to the eyeshadow palette? That's really the question. All right, so I'm going to use a damp sponge. I'm also going to pull out my mirror because we pull out Miss Piggy. I really prepared, didn't I? Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I don't, I have to say like, I don't love, it's fine. I just, I don't love a cushion compact, you know, but okay. All right, Tom Ford, I guess it's fine. The actual foundation itself is incredible. I just, am, I feel like I have to like really like pounce, 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 pounce. Oh, I got a notification again. Lori Abercrom Abercrombie sent a Venmo. Thank you so much for your star studded evening. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Lori. You guys are the best. Why are we talking about Ryan Philippi, Felipe? Whatever, however you say his name. What's happening? <laughs> I wish I had something to say on the topic, but I mean, has he really given us anything recently? Not really. Huh. Oh, 90s movies. Oh, okay. Oh, Cruel Intentions. Got it. I never saw it. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I never saw it. You never saw it? No, it's from the 90s. It's from 99. I said the 90s. 99 counts. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. I don't think you understand. If there's one movie from the 90s, you would have loved it was Cruel Intentions. All right, well, we're going to obviously watch it tonight. I mean, that's clearly where this is all leading. Cece, 
I can't tell if Cece's a fan or if she's a troll anymore. Cece, are you trying to be a fucking troll? She trolls me about my nails. She trolls me about everything. I feel really intact. I feel super intact. Just kidding, kind of. All right, let me think of, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I was doing in the 90s. Well, I was listening to show tunes. I was singing Phantom of the Opera, a chorus line in Annie full out in my parents' living room. If you needed like a visual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lisa J, Lori is the best. She is the best. Have I seen Clueless? Okay, well now I feel, I actually feel offended now. Of course I've seen, okay, so that's an exception. Clueless, I have seen a lot. It's one of my favorite movies. That is Better Off Red's favorite movie of all time, Clueless. Um, yeah, ask me more questions about the 90s. Let me blow your mind some more. Oh, is it as good as it gets was late 90s, right? Lisa J said, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I saw that. I saw that a lot, actually. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a downer. Also, okay, so wait, people are, are people naming things? Star Trek Next. Someone just, Trish, Trish said Star Trek Next probably need Star Trek The Next Generation. I mean, no, absolutely not. Like, never would I ever. <laughs> the 90s and sci-fi? Get the hell out of town, that's never happening. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw Boys in the Hood, Ageless Beauty 416. I know. I never saw Boys Wow. Mind blown. Mind blown. Um, the, I want to, and it's on Netflix right now, so that's probably going to happen in the near future. Where is that based? Is it? Uh, South Central LA. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so Hocus Pocus, I've seen Hocus Pocus. Everyone can breathe, because I know your lives revolve around what I've seen. Um, single white female, I've seen it. But see, I've gone back and watched all these after the fact. Like, not in the 90s. The Craft, I made myself about, go back and watch it. Home Alone was my... I, I'm obsessed with Home Alone, which is very strange. Because I generally don't like movies that feature children in that annoying, strident way. But, guys, that movie's a masterpiece. Don't get me started on Home Alone. One. The first one. We'll save that for closer to the holidays. Um, what am I even doing with my face? Okay, great. Looks fine. Okay, so now let me readjust. Save the last dance. Wait, who is in? Was that? That was uh, Julia Stiles. Yeah. Guys. Not a 90s movie, and also, I fucking hate that movie. Okay. It, apparently, it wasn't a 90s movie. <laughs> But also, I hate that movie too, and also, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it. I was never a Julia Stiles fan. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just like, I mean, I think she was great in 10, 10 Things I Hate About You because it was totally her vibe. I just like, I didn't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, thanks, thanks for letting me share that. She's just sort of like a wet rag, you know? Um, Forrest Gump. I mean, yes, yes, 100%. Have seen that so many times. I can't watch that anymore though, because it's, it makes me too sad. I just can't handle it. Boomer porn. Um, <laughs> boomer porn. Correct. Okay. 
moving, we'll keep discussing as I move on to the Pat McGrath concealer that I use every single time. I don't like how zoomed in I am, so let's, let's back it up. Um, Debbie, oh, I have never, I have never used the Glam 35 face base. That's correct, but I'm liking it. I would have used my BK Beauty sponge, but it's not clean. Okay, Ryan K, are you happy? I'm using a clean sponge. <sighs> like that joke isn't getting old. Just kidding. Death becomes her, yes, seen that. Saw that as an adult. Debbie, oh, I think you should try the primer. It's really nice. I mean, I like how it's working with this makeup right now, so. Ryan K, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, Kim McConnell is talking about the Lost Boys, and I have to tell you, don't be upset. I know you're going to be upset. We watched it and I, I didn't hate it, but I like, it, you know, there are a lot of movies from the 80s, from the 80s and 90s that I just feel like you kind of had to watch them as a kid in order to have that nostalgia factor because that's kind of what it was about. I watched it as an adult and I was like, uh, okay, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just like, I don't know. Reality bites. Absolutely not. See, that's an, see, there you go. That's an example of something that was so far from my nerdy bubble that like, it was too cool. I was not grungy. I did not get that at all. I can't even really say that I get it now, but I get it more. <laughs> no, I get it. I love to not shower. I'm like all about not showering. Mrs. Doubtfire, yes, I've seen that. Is this is this boring, you guys, for me just naming <laughs> things I've seen? Okay. Um. K Bella Beauty's here. Hey, Kella Be K Bella Beauty. Okay. Next, I'm moving on to. So now I chose this cream blush. It's one of my favorites. Oh, Ashley A is here too. Oh my gosh, so many YouTube channels. Um, this is one of Lisa J. I think this is one of her favorites. This is the Fenty. Hold on. Let me clean it up. What the hell? It's like a fuzzy in there. And anyway, this is <laughs> the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin. And I got this shade because of Lisa J. Because it was on her Glorious Cheeks. And it's so, so, it just, it go like, this is my go-to, one of my go-to cream blushes when I can't decide. The reason I've seen a lot of, you know, gone back and watched a lot of these things is really because of Randy. Um... Lisa J, can you believe I watched The Goonies for the first time this year? Lisa, don't feel alone because I'm pretty much in the same camp. Did you like it? Now don't hold back because I can't with The Goonies. <laughs> the thumbs downs are gonna come rolling in. I can't. I've talked about it before on my channel. I just, I don't get it at all the whole like kids save on an adventure, like saving the world. And like, I just, I can't. Wait, 
Did Lisa tell us if she liked it or not? Oh. I think I... Yeah. Okay, CC is speaking for everyone and she's saying, no, no, you all agree. <laughs> no, all of us as a collective agree with you. I don't think that's true. Oh, Petal Poppin. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Okay, so we're, we're getting closer to the palette here. So I almost feel like I could do more Petal Poppin, right? Maybe a little more? Mabes? More. Mm. Mm. Okay, Anastasia Harrison, I hated the shining. We can't be for, we can't talk anymore. We're done. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't, but also I don't want to talk about it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's like top five favorite movies. really upset me yeah lisa j said not really i think she's talking about the goonies yeah yeah twin peaks autumn b is asking if i like twin peaks i do we we tried to like we need to try again i feel like we started watching it and we just there's so many things that we're watching like the newer twin peaks that we didn't get to it but um I, right, Lisa J didn't like it. Okay. I feel even more one with you now. Um, I'm going to use my Kogan Doe Brightening Moisture Powder and also my BK Beauty Bunny Brush, Bunny on the Face Brush. This is the 102. Um, going back to Twister, I really like railed against it because I don't like natural disaster movies. Um, but I did enjoy it for just how like ridiculous it was in so many ways. I had no idea Jamie Gertz was in that. Well, I had no idea like three fourths of the cast was in it. I, I was just, I couldn't believe how many people I recognized. But I really felt like that was a standout role for Jamie Gertz because she was always playing like you know, like the love interest, kind of boring. But she, I mean, obviously she was kind of love interest in this, but she was like, you know, the odd man out. And she was like, kind of uptight and Southern. And I just really thought she was great in it. I enjoyed her. And I felt bad for her. Like Bill Paxton just like leaves her fucking high and dry. He's just like, nope, going back to Helen Hunt. I enjoy arguing. I'm gonna argue the rest of my life away. It's cool. Listen, I love Helen Hunt, but also she's always such a bitch. <laughs> Don't come for me because I called her a bitch. Listen, I said I loved Helen Hunt, but that was her type, okay? She's, think about it, mad about you. Twister, as good as it gets, all the same, amazing the same. This could be argued of many, many actors, though. She's pretty chilly in real life, though. Yeah. Ch oh, have you met her? Yeah, I took care of her. Oh, she's chilly in life? Yeah. Not, not a bitch, per se. No. She's not warm. Right, okay, not warm. Um... This is Glossier Boy Brow. I'm not even telling you what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> you just have to guess. What do you think I'm using? You would have guessed. Okay, this is what I, I knew. Like, people are gonna be like, there's nothing wrong with being chilly. There's nothing wrong with Helen Hunt. She's a strong woman. Shut up. I know. I'm a strong woman. Just back it up. Calm down. It's fine. She's a bitch. <laughs> she plays bitch, though. I'm kind of into it. But... Also, all the time. Oh, 
Let me find a man to make fun of. Does that make it better? Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Wow, I really didn't ch choose well. I chose a person who's not alive anymore. He's amazing, but also <laughs> his performance in that movie is super extra. Super, super. Like a little bit... Like, we know you're amazing, but also, is this amazing or is it terrible? It's hard to tell because the choices are so strong that it's like, wow, he really just, he really went whole hog with that, you know? Wow. Oscar winners in that cast. Lots of Oscar winners in the cast. Two. Oh, two. two. What, Helen Hunt and him? Robin. Right. Um, Cece never cared for him. Cece's like, whoa, she means business tonight. <laughs> She's not holding back. Um, sorry, I'm just so fascinated by the comments. Do, 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 I'm scrolling up. Anastasia, Kate, you are so sassy tonight. Am I extra sassy? It's because I were talking about pop culture and I'm like super opinionated about it. <laughs> That's probably why. I just, I have lots of opinions. Um, none of them are, are important, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna, Casino, is that from the 90s? Yeah. I love Casino, but that doesn't like, that like falls in different category for me. Like Lisa Jake, you know, talked about as good as it gets. And it's like, yes, but like, that was legit. You know what I mean? Like that was like a great movie. I'm talking about like questionable nineties. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, we're, we're actually, we've gotten to the palette. Get excited. Okay. Yes, I've seen Goodfellas. I love the mob. Michelle Wong and I actually discussed, I can't open this because of my nails. <laughs> Watch Kate struggle. Okay. Um, Michelle Wong and I actually wanted to, for Halloween to do like a live stream. We were just like mob wives and like had the accents and everything. And then we just never followed through with it. Okay, so this is the palette. Let me tone down the lighting. Yes. Ooh, I love how shiny the emblem is. And I love the size. I love like a nice, you know, it's not too big. It's not heavy. It's pink. It's like a, it's like a peachy pink. Oh, okay. Well, the plastic came out. So this is the palette. I just, again, I love how many shades are in here. Can I do math? There are 12 shades. This retails for, I sh hold on, I don't want to get things wrong because Lisa J is here and that would make me feel like a real asshole. So let me just, <laughs> oh, there's Lisa J's smiling face. She's smiling at me on the website. Okay, $45, $45. Twelve shades balanced with six. I'm just going to read from the website. Balanced with six matte and six shimmer shades, this palette was created to be an everyday essentials palette, offering neutrals with a little pop of color. Guys, this is like my kind of palette. Okay, first of all, we're full on using this as like the main shade. I'm just telling you right now. I did briefly. I lied. I did dip my finger into it before I started <laughs> because I needed to know. Um, but. I'm really excited about this because I, you guys know I'm not, I don't need like a crazy palette situation. I don't need like a million shades and to get, I mean, that's fun and all, but like this, I would use every single damn day. Um, let me go back to the chat here. Okay, so I'm going to swatch, do some swatchy swatchins. If you actually want, you know, 
a well-produced, lovely video, you can go watch Lisa's, Lisa's video on this. But, um, okay, let me start from the top. I also love that the shade names are on the damn shades. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to do three at a time here. First three shades. Let me turn this down. Sometimes this blows it out a little bit. Okay, so this is... Oh, these are little lights, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but this is beam. Let me, let me go in again. Beam, Brooklyn, and Grace. Okay. Then... Sorry, I'm trying to get like a decent swatch here. We've got Beauty, Amour, and Ambition. Beauty. Sorry, there's a little bit of fine hair in my arms. That's <laughs> I should have shaved my arms before this. I'm insecure now. Ooh, those are going on so, so beautifully though. So that's Beauty, Amour, Ambition. Ambition I love. This is like a Kate shade right here. I also kind of like showing the shades on my fingers because I feel like they just show up better. <sighs> then we've got, I'm so excited about what's coming up. So the next shades are Glow, Kate. This is called Kate. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. We'll do Glow and Kate next. This is Glow. Ooh, it goes on so buttery. Oh my gosh. Kate, I'm obsessed with that. That's Gor Gorgina. I'm going to, I can't wait to use that. And then the last four, this is Kind Vibes, nice chocolatey matte, Love, this is Love, we're almost done. I love the name of this next shade. It's called Queen. Sorry, I should be showing you them in the palette. This is Queen. Queen. Lisa J, it's cold. Don't shave your arms. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. I think I won't in general, just because I feel like that might lead to just some stubble and some not great times. Um, and the last shade is Dream. And I don't know, it's not showing up like, well, it's, again, I think it shows better, it shows up better on my finger, but it's like a really beautiful, like, it looks like a deep eggplant shade. Okay. I'm going to keep those on, but these are, this is the full, the full arm right here. Yes. I'm excited. I'm really excited. So let's create a Luke, a Luke. Also, I feel like this eyebrow needs to come up more. Okay. I just, my eyebrows aren't even, so. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to, uh, 
Oh, let me pull the sticky thing off the, the mirror is really nice too. Michelle, Michelle Wong loves pulling stickers off of things. This is for you, Michelle. This is for you. Ooh. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to go in with beam first. I'm going to turn my light back up a little bit here so I can see. And I feel like, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to just take this translucent powder and make sure that my eyelids are a little bit creased here from the concealer. Can't have that. Wow, that really, all right, let's redo that. Just totally forgot. We can't have any creasing, okay? Okay. That's the thing. I have to work a little bit faster here when I decide to use concealer on my lid. Make sure it's nice and blended out. Okay. Great. Go in with the powder. All right. All better. All better. All right. So again, I'm going in with the lightest shade right here, which is Beam. Wow, we're really talking about arm hair, aren't we? We're really getting in there. I've told you guys my arm hair story, right? Of when I went to the salon in New York City like 10 years ago, and the woman told me I had too much arm hair. Well, I should have told the story better than that, but that's the short version. <laughs> too much, CC, too much, too much. Okay. Yes, that's true. Anne Marie, Anne Marie Co. You cannot change the texture of your hair by shaving it. It just changes the tip of the hair. As it, that's true. That is a that is a misperception, misconception. Um. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with Grace. Just looks like a really nice transition shade. I completely know what you guys are talking about or the whole concept of it. When you shave, it doesn't change the quality of your hair because I did a whole video on shaving your face and I can't tell you how many women, I still get comments on it. They're like, I'll never do this. I'll get stubble. I'm like, did you watch the video? But did you watch it though? But did you? which is what I want to say to so many people so much of the time on YouTube. But did you actually watch it and listen? Because I literally talk about that. <laughs> and how that's actually not true. It's an anti-aging technique and it's not going to give you stubble. You're wrong. Listen, we're all conditioned, okay? We're working against our conditioning. Some people are better at it than others. I'm already obsessed with this palette and I'm only into like, you know, the lightest shades. But for me, for me and my eyelids and my skin tone, this is perfection. It's just not intimidating. And I think that, you know, Lisa J, She's such a great teacher. Um, Cause Lisa, you were a trainer at Mac, am I correct? So she's really excellent at teaching people makeup and she wants to make makeup um, 
approachable for women. Cause I feel like so many people, especially the, even the makeup freelance I've done, so many people just don't, they're scared to even talk about it or they, they don't, they're just super insecure. And so I just feel like this is fantastic. You know what I mean? Like it's just approachable and I enjoy that. I'm gonna take another drink. A crown. Why do humans have an aversion to body hair? If you like it, keep it. If you don't, shave it. But just worry about your own body hair, not others. I totally agree. <laughs> Lisa, I'm sorry that combined with your palette, we're talking about body hair. But what a, what a combination it is. Who knew? Um, while we go on, hold on. I'm going to go into the next darkest shade, which is beauty. I'm just using, I mean, these are, these um, are so light that I'm just using the 202 for all of them. The BK Beauty 202. Oh yes. Lisa J is another person on YouTube who loves using the P501970. She loves it. She says, I love the P50. Kate, what did you think about it? I love it. I've like amped up my usage. Um, like I go in a little bit more with it because when I, um, when I had my facial at rescue spa and all those ladies there are trained in the Biologique Recherche product line, she was like, the redness is good. You need the redness. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm here to tell you, I'm not mad about what's happening. So. Yes, I'm loving how gradual this is. Do you see how like flawless this is? Like what's even happening? Again, I'm using, I've used these shades. I've used Beam. I've used Grace. And now I'm using Beauty right here. Don't worry, we're getting to the purple in a hot second. Barbara Tetris, I want to try the P51970. Can you use it with toner and essence? Yes, because it's not, it's not really a toner, okay? I mean, it's in the toner family, but it's not. It's a chemical exfoliant. So you can use it with most anything. You just wanna be careful if you're using like other acids on your face on this in the same evening, but. Yes, Tamara's Timeless Beauty. Those eyeshadows are going on like a dream. They really are. Like the mattes are so blendable. You guys remember when I used, and I, I love Alter Ego Beauty, so, or Alter Ego, but I used the Artemis palette and I was having trouble blending the mats last time. Like, Lisa J, it would replace your toner. I believe you can use an essence with it. I just rotate. Yeah, so toner, I feel like toner gets misused. Like toner falls under, people use toner for a lot of things is what I'm trying to say. So I use an essence and then I use P50 first and then my essence. Um... Like some people call a facial mist a toner, but is it really though? It's, it's a facial mist. So anyway, I would just use an essence like Lisa J is saying with the P50. Lisa J, you stop it now, you flatterer. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Kate. I'm gonna go with Kate, cause I just, I just have to. And I think I'm gonna <clears throat> take a flat brush, a flatter brush. This is the 206. And I'm just gonna mist it a little bit. I would use my finger, honestly, but these claws are not, I can't anymore. Guys, if you don't know what we're talking about, I've done like multiple videos on P151970, so just search it. 
Oh, you know what? I'm going to use my finger. I don't, I don't like that. I don't care if I have claws. It's just, for me, it's the best way. Yes. Yes. You can also get P50 on, on Amazon, just so you know. You know what, honestly, I wanted to use several shades out of this palette because I just felt that was important. But you guys know I love taking like a fun color up to my brow bone and making it 80s. So um, I probably would have done that <laughs> because I'm so obsessed with this shade. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to blend it out. <sighs> okay. So pretty, right? Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm going to take a clean... Actually, I'm going to take that brush that I attempted to use and then next. I will use Brooklyn. I will use Brooklyn. Faux show. Oh, shit. <laughs> nope. Using a fluffy brush. That brush had mist on it. Note to self. Don't do that. It's okay. We'll go back in. We'll go back in. Although, interestingly enough, I almost feel like I don't need to blend it out. <laughs> Which is kind of amazing. Debbie O, are you the police tonight? I didn't know the police were here. All right. Yeah, um, I just don't wanna to blend too much of the purple away because it's so, so pretty. But again, like the most approachable purple. I don't even have to blend that out. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't have to blend it out. <laughs> I'm going to go in, go into the other eye. I'm using my left hand, my left claw now. <sighs> Abru, everyone is so nice here. That's, that's nice, thank you. Where are you going normally? Is everyone just an asshole other places? <laughs> Girl, whose live streams are you going to? That sounds terrible. Stop going to those. Come to the nice ones. All right, so I'm going to clean up the edges. Like, everyone calm down. You know. I probably didn't even have to do all the shades I did, honestly. <laughs> but. All right. Let me clean off my fingers because things are getting out of hand. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, so I'm going to take my bunny brush and just dust away what I can. There's little to no fallout, but I just wanna make sure everything's nice and clean. And I am gonna go in back in with concealer. I'm not done with the eyes yet. Just make sure it's clean. Yes, this is a Miss Piggy Mirror Renee. <laughs> it's from Ciate. It's my favorite thing. Okay, so now people were demanding that I go in with Brooklyn. Brooklyn, I love the names. Um, that's the shade right here. Look how beautiful. So I'm gonna do that. Is it too much to put that on my brow bone, do you think? Oh no, no it's not. Tisn't. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Kate is loving this look. Yes. You know, Kate's my favorite name. All right. We're doing this gradually. So hold on a second here. That really is the most perfect brow bone highlight, right? Um, I'm going to, oh gosh, these swatches are getting everywhere. <laughs> um, more powder. I know it seems like I'm being super fresh, but I just want everything to look nice. Make it even, make it nice. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the purple. I know it's like, I'm purple obsessed, but I am, what can I say? Um, and I want to, Make sure everything's blended in here. I'm just kind of like taking the purple a little further out. More purple. Purple, please. Can you tell what my favorite shade in the palette is? This is what I'm talking about with the bunny brush. Do you understand? It's like the perfect thing to brush things away. Do you see how it just brushed that little bit of like kick up away? All right, I think we're done with the purple now. But I wanna make sure it's even. I think it is. It's very subtle. Okay, next we're going to do, I'm gonna take a pencil brush, a pencil brush, and I'm going to go in with a darker shade. I'm gonna go in with Queen. I've been wanting to use this shade right here. Uh, 
I am going to hopefully successfully this time <laughs> miss this. And I'm going to use this as nothing too intense, but I just want to like darken my lash line a little bit. But really, this is for the lower lash line. Yes, 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 and yes. I'm going to kind of mix queen and dream together. Wow, I'm really making a mess of this palette. Sorry, Lisa J. Is Google retracting people's, what's happening? Yeah, apparently twice that I've seen so far. I like, saw something about like the Google community, like retracting something. Yeah. What's that about? I've, I've yet to figure that out. Cool, awesome. Let's have more unexplained things with YouTube. Let's, let's just pack them in. Let's add them on. I need to know less. <laughs> I already know so little, but please let me know less. Don't get me started. Okay, I'm gonna do the other lash line. I just threw down that brush in anger. I had to refine it, don't worry, I did. Okay, so what, what's clear to me about this palette is you literally cannot make a mistake. <laughs> like, even if you tried, even if I made mistakes along the way, you saw me, I went back and corrected them, but like you, they correct themselves so easily. Like it's kind of a no fail situation. All right. I'm going to, because there's a lot of shadow on my lids, I'm just going to go in with um, my Fenty liner for the top, top lash line. This is just the fly pencil. Just so I can kind of, I feel like, I feel like I'm taking a damn long time here. Yeah, just because I have like four layers, five layers of shadow on, I feel like it's not as pigmented as I want it to be on the top lash line, so. All right, sweet. I got a notification, hold on please. Tony Page, send a PayPal, get you and Randy a shot of whiskey to help with that non-COVID cold. That's so nice, thank you, Tony Page. So sweet. Okay, so now I'm going to, I know you're like, what if this is the finished look? How would you feel? <laughs> Listen, mascara is going to pull it all together. So actually, no, but I feel like I need some more purple on my left eye. Why do I feel like I need that? I feel like I do. And I'm not going to blend it out. Okay. Yep. Okay, obviously I have a problem with purple. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my By Terry Lash Expert Twist Brush uh, Mascara. First, I'm going to curl my lashes. If I can find... I've just really been throwing stuff around, have I not? Have I not? All right, well, you know what we're gonna do? What the hell is my lash curl? Oh, there it is, okay. Are you getting an image of what my dresser looks like right now? Paula B44, okay, you are a total pro. I mean, having the creator of a makeup product here live, I mean, of course it's great, but still, oh, thank you. Thanks, Paula, for the super chat. Yes, I do feel very honored. Very, very honored. side of the lines there. Okay. Let me zoom in. Yes, Lisa J is a fan of the Fenty fly, fly pencils too. I saw her feature them in one of her um, favorites videos. I feel like we have a lot of similar favorites. And to me, they really are the best, most buttery eyeliners. Becky Sue, you're an entertainer. Yes. Lower lash line, please. I always feel like such a monster until I do my lower lashes, especially if I have like shadow on the bottom lashes. Not a monster, but you know what I mean. Just, you know, a monster. <laughs> My live stream doesn't seem whole until someone comes to bitch at me about how many coats of mascara I put on or how dark my eyebrows are. Can someone just... Can someone take that place? Because I just don't feel quite myself until that happens. Um, yes, I'm sorry. I'm an entertainer. I'm an actor. I'm a singer. That's what I've done all my life. And now I'm a beauty YouTuber. Um, forgive me. I am so sorry. I, you know, when you're 37 years old and you've been a performer all your life and <laughs> just lovely, nice people ask you seemingly normal, well-intended questions about what you do. And you've been asked them like every second of every day, not every second of every day, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a thing. Trust me when you're an actor, I I've told you that I started, if like, I started telling people that I'm like graphic designer, just so people will just not ask. <laughs> Because people just, I love you guys, but normal people don't, we'll just stop it at that. <laughs> we'll just stop it at that. 
they're totally valid questions. You just get you just get tired of answering them. That's all. But I but I'm here to answer them. I am a, I am an actor and a singer. I've done musical theater. No, Becky Sue, you're fine. You don't have to be sorry. I'm just explaining why I was like, yes. <laughs> that I am. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I was just explaining the plight, the horrible plight of being an actor. And that's not even the worst of it, let me tell you. It's not your fault. It's ours. Always. Ooh, damn, I forgot how much I love this mascara. I feel like no one talks about this mascara. Am I wrong? Wow, I'm looking down at the delayed screen on my computer of my face and I'm really not enjoying those giant expression lines in my forehead. <laughs> for I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it smizing. No, that doesn't work. You have to raise your eyebrows, raise them up. That's so strange. I thought I had a Becky Sue. Becky Sue, I'm sorry. I thought you had already been here. I legitimately thought that I've seen your name before. Maybe Becky Sue is a common name. I'm acting like I literally know everyone, like everyone on YouTube. <laughs> People can have. The same name and they're different people. I do understand. What am I even saying right now? Am I making sense? Am I drunk? Who's to say? Who's to say? Yes, Tammy Faye Baker eyes. Lauren, um, okay, I will link the peach skin sheets. I will link them um, for sure when I'm done with this. Thank you, Lauren. Okay, so I think we have enough with the lashes. I could go in with another coat. I'm gonna just go in with my roller lash because, because I can, because I can. Renee, I'm not, I'm not actually drunk. I don't think you know how high my tolerance is, girl. I know you're like the tiniest human ever was, but I'm the size of a horse, so I'm fine. I love how people comment sometimes in my videos and they're like, girl, you're drunk. Oh my gosh. And it's like, no. Not even close, literally just not even close. <laughs> Had one drink. Yeah. Amanda, too much mascara. Moving on. Um, okay, so First of all, I want to just sum up the True Beauty palette by BK Beauty. I already have my just smudged fingers all over it. I love this palette. Again, I think it's so approachable. I just, it's an everyday palette. It has that pop of color, which is also not intimidating. I think it's like the perfect, it almost looks lilac when you put it on your eyes. Even when there's a little bit of fallout, you saw me just brush it away. I just, 
I think it's fantastic. So I just want to congratulate Lisa J on a beautiful palette that I think that so many people will find usable. My lips are parched. All right. Oh, I still have those swatches on my arm. That ter that was terrifying. It's like, what the, what the hell was that? Um, next I'm going to Lily Carson. Why don't you use a black paint brush on your eyes? So funny. Sometimes jokes don't translate in written word. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, so next I'm moving on to blush. I'm using, this is a lot of the same makeup that I used in the video I just put out yesterday, um, which is my, what the hell is it called? 10 Game Changer products. Um, this is like one of my favorite blush shades. This is the Hourglass Blush in the Sublime Flush. And I'm going to pull out... BK Beauty Blush Brush. This is the 104. Ooh, that with that damn eye color, that Kate shade, the purple one, get out of here. Guys, a pinky purple situation is like my favorite situation. Although I will say Sorry, I'm being really scrutinizing right now. Really self-critical. I mean, <laughs> what's new? <laughs> Another terrible part of being an actor, just tearing yourself to shreds on a daily basis. What a joy. Um, no, I just feel like there's a little bit of darkness there. And I don't like it. So I'm just lightening it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm putting more blush on, just a little bit. Don't tell me it's too much blush. Oh wait. When the person screamed too much mascara, were they just filling in for the random troll that I can't stand? Thank you, you did what I asked. I literally thought you were a troll. <laughs> I literally thought you were a troll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Thank you for, um, thank you for that. So now we're almost done. It was Amanda. Amanda, you were the one. <laughs> You're the one who did it. Okay. So I'm moving on to lips. I'm going to use my, I cannot get enough of these lip glosses. This is the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer, uh, plumping lip gloss in the shade guava puff i know ashley a has this shade and she loves it it is just a perfect i also i do like the clicky applicator i have to say I'm sorry, just looking at the comments. I feel like I've missed a lot.
Oh, Jamie Kay's talking about Hourglass and how she feels like they don't cater to people with darker skin tones. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Jamie Kay. Um, have you tried um, the At Night Shade? It's like that, that brick red. I really do think, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I have worked quite often on women who, people of color, as a makeup artist. And... I feel like that might look really beautiful, but again, I could be wrong. Okay. My favorite kind of lip gloss, my favorite kind of shade. Hourglass. Right, hourglass. That's what I'm talking about. The hourglass, the hourglass um blush in at night. The brick red shade. What? Okay. Um I'm also gonna go, I'm gonna be extra and go over this with my Fenty Gloss slipper because it just adds that extra juiciness that I love. Okay, but I'm not defending, I'm not defending Hourglass and I hear you. I hear you and that's bullshit and you're right. I'm just, I that was the only shade I could think of off the top of my head that I thought might look really pretty on a, a deeper skin tone. Okay. One more step, one more step. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in the shade Enlighten. I have to kind of go a little bit light because you get real blingy with this. And I like to kind of take it up, like right up to the edge of the eyeshadow and the brow bone highlight, so it kind of ties it together. Yes. Other side. Ron G said this is his favorite head wrap so far. Thank you. I just got it. It's from The Wrap Life, which is one of my favorite. Um, also, if you are looking for head wraps, they are a black owned um, head wrap company out of Brooklyn, New York. And I have so many other head wraps. They make the most fun designs. They make all kinds of different, they use different fabrics. So many fun prints. Highly recommend. I, I will make sure they're linked in the description box. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is the finished look. I really love it. Like, this is my favorite kind of look, honestly. Um, just a wearable, soft, sexy, glam look. If you are a person who wants something just easy, there's so many one and done eyeshadows in here. I honestly, I could have just used the purple shade and I kind of wanted to, but I, I felt like that would have been super lame. So I didn't, but I could have. <laughs> so anyway, please check out the BK Beauty palette. I did link it in the description box below. I feel like this is just an everyday. It's it's so great. It's a great everyday palette. Thank you to Lisa J. She is just a joy and a pleasure. She is a ray of sunshine here on YouTube. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you for every thank you to everyone who donated um 
who thumbs it up or thumbs it down. You bitches. You. You. Um, thanks for the, the sassy conversation. Thanks for letting me jab 90s things with you. And I will see you actually the live stream this week, just so you know, I'm moving it to Thursday. It's going to be a little later. So it's either going to be at 7.30 or 8. Follow me on the gram because I do lots of updates there. Um, but it's going to be on Thursday this week. So just know it's not going to be on Wednesday because, sorry, the seltzer is getting to me, because Randy's birthday is on Wednesday. So hopefully we'll be feeling better, we'll be able to celebrate, and then I will come back and do the live stream on Thursday night. Everyone have a fabulous week. Stay safe out there. Wear your masks. And cheers. Oh, I didn't cheer something. Sometimes I forget to do that. Well, it's going to be the BK Beauty palette. Duh. BK Beauty True Beauty palette. Good job. All right, guys. Cheers till next time.